Aha, well, hello guys and welcome to another Node.js tutorial. My name is Ben. In this class, we're going to look at now how to obtain the access token. In our previous classes, we were able to look at routes and uh, I said we're going to do this more. I have also had some requests from people requesting me to do a crash course on Node.js, which is what I'm going to do next, but not in anywhere close to, uh, or not related to uh, Daraja. So whatever I'm doing right now is going to focus on Daraja Kidogo. But unless I mean, but I mean, uh, we are going to do this one on Node in some future tutorials. So we, in our previous class, had set up our own ser our server, which was running. And what I've done in this class is that I've changed the port, and I've also I'm also monitoring for an error if, uh, in case the server does not run. And then we already have our first route set. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run npm start. Remember how we set this thing? So npm start this will start our project when the server is running ready and what i'm going to do is to test the server by visiting localhost and uh yeah whatever it's you're seeing there is this one so you are home welcome you can also decide to send this at json but for this class specifically let's just focus kidogo on mpesa so we are through with the first part so that is the route so let's go and now um use i mean uh or get our access token so the first thing we need to do is to import the request uh, the request module which is equals to require all these we install them during our product or classes that we need we also require anything else um request this enough and the next thing we need to do here is to create our access token route so app.get and um, this being node you can create or being expressed you can be able to create several um pad or several uh routes using different uh http verbs for example in this class in this case we're using get so you can either use also post which is what you're going to do later when we're receiving responses from mpesa we're also going to use uh, uh patch delete update not 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 update but patch delete and put but in this class strictly we're just going to do to deal with get and post yeah but in our crash course probably we'll have that so the first uh, route for MPS that we need to create is the route for obtaining our access token and we're supposed to pass two things here so that is the request coming from the user and the response what we're passing back to the user then um whatever we are doing we're going to obtain our access token here and uh, without wasting much of your time we can either go and copy the code on Daraja and come and put it directly or we can decide just to code and then we see where we are so the first thing or the first the thing that we're supposed to use is the request request module which we imported is supposed to be a function and it's supposed to take at least two parameters the first thing is supposed to pass is this which is supposed to contain our requests whatever we're sending to a person then here we will have a function that will return three things or two whichever direction you decide to take let's take the mpesa out so that we don't uh, confuse you guys so we we'll either expect an error and then we'll also have our response here and we'll also have a body on the response that we get now we can come and handle whatever we have got from mpesa at this point so the request we are going to pass in the url as the first thing here we are going to pass the url url is going to appear here then we are also going to have the headers and uh remember you're authenticating this one so we can pass anything about header here and these are the options it includes um things like the authentication the content type and all that but in this class in this case we're just passing then authorization authorization and here it is our basic and we will add we'll concatenate with the string that we'll bring in from the other side here we'll also handle if there's an error so if there was an error then let's console.log the error console.log the error but if we never had an error, so else, let's just write if else, I don't like it, but let's just write it. 
else. Uh, console.log, we either can send back to the user or even read it. So, which one is better? Let's, um, let's send back to the user. So, response.status. So, we start with the status, and the status is rendered, meaning we are okay. And here we just pass dot uh, JSON. And what are you going to pass? We're going to pass the body. This will contain our access token and stuff like that. We are having error because of um, whatever we are doing here. Yeah. So we're supposed to define these things here. So let me just say this is out correct. And here we'll pass a uh, URL. Define the URL there. You can just say let. Still okay. Go to define words. Uh, the variables there. Also let our out uh, be to be a post new buffer. This buffer will contain something that to string. This string will contain this 64 like that. Sorry. Let me just use that one. Not must, but let me just use it. So this is what we're going to have. So we're going to pass our strings here. That is our consumer key and consumer secret. And then here we're going to pass our URL. So we'll go back to Mpesa and we'll copy the URL. Come and paste it here. Then we'll uh, need to pass our consumer key and consumer secret inside this buffer with the basic whatever. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to bother a lot on that. I'm going to use this a lot. I'm going to copy my consumer key. I'm going to put it here inside here. But I'll do an open a new string. Put that and concatenate with my consumer secret like that. I believe I am done with that part. So the next thing I'm supposed to do is just to place a URL here. In case there is any error, we'll be able to see the error here. But now, as far as I'm concerned, we've already cleared all that error. So it's time for us to do the testing and uh, I'll go to my Chrome, type localhost. And uh, the first thing is your home. And then the next part is now our access token. Hopefully it's working. And there you go. We are through. We have got our access token is um, this one here. And it expires in the next hour. So we are through with that. Uh, now we are obtaining the access token using Node.js. This code will be on my Git uh, GitHub. It's as simple as that. All you have to understand is how this request works. There are so many other ways, but the request method I will be using this is the actually the easiest, I should say. Then remember, this app is not good for going live. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> we'll be discussing those ones later once you have known how to integrate this to your project. I would request to end the tutorial there unless you guys have any other question, which you will post it in the comment section below. I would also appreciate if you hit the like button on this video and also subscribe and also invite other people or share this video and tell your friends you found somewhere to study the Raj and I will be so grateful, very grateful for that. Now, thank you for watching, subscribe to my YouTube channel and let's meet in our next class. If you have any question, remember, write it in the, the, screen, the quest, comment section below. Thank you very much. This is Ben.